What's poppin' people? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. We got some Diabromon footage facing off against Fish, but you all knew that already if you clicked on the thumbnail or read the title of the video. Unless you hear from an autoplay, in which case, let me know, because that would be quite funny. We're going to be seeing Judge Jambo on Fish, borrowing Marcio's Fish list, and then Marcio is playing Jambo's Diabromon. For some friendlies, the swap decks to uh, get the reps in, which I think is something that y'all should do more often. You should... Uh, you should play your friends' decks to get a handle on like what the decks actually do and understand the lines better. It will make you a better player. And if you think you are a better player than some of the people that are at this local, you should uh, you should come to the winner case because, as you can see, the final design is uh, here. The seven Demon Lords for second place at the uh, case event. Gonna see the Warrior Siege Run play out the Penguin. Penguin get the load on the Crab to get the draw. And then the Jute Chair is gonna come out thanks to the Plessio going straight over that. We we're all the way zoomed out on this footage just because we wanted uh, to show off the map designs. And we're going to show off a cheeky little Zudo to just bounce straight back. So, rough start for Diaboramon. This one's definitely whoever gets going first. And right now, yet to really get going. Another Arata. So, we've seen three already. I'm just trying to keep that number small. We're going to go into a Plessio. Plessio play out the Crab. Oh, no. It has to be from that source. We're going to play out the Shoot Chair, which is going to draw one, gain one. So he does get to keep turn. There goes the penguin in the back. And out comes Age of Strimon, which makes things even harder now. If you're, uh, if Diabormon's out first, then Fish just gets cooked. If Fish is out first, then Diabormon actually physically cannot play. It's crazy. So Plessio, as well as the Plessio under an Aegis, sets up pretty nicely. Gonna go to four at start of turn, of course, and we are gonna push out and try and play. Gonna go for the Kurisari, and we are gonna go into the uh, Infamon, so level sixes can't do anything. I'm kind of surprised, though, that he pushed out for that, because considering he could have done it in the back. Gonna suck up a source in order to get the unsuspend. Uh, oh, I guess he's threatening Blast Evo is what he's trying to do, but we uh, do not have it. We are just going to swing all the checks and take game one. And we're going to take all the time of the shuffle to say thank you to everyone that has been supporting the channel. The numbers just continue to grow, so if you want to be part of this bigger, better family, then make sure to hit the join button whilst you're double-checking if you're actually subscribed. Do you have at the mega tier, just Justice Josh, who is a tier three on Twitch, as well as an ultimate here on YouTube. And then at the Ultimates, we do have the Tommy NT, Tommy Tricks on the Sticks, Three Strike Rule, and Bradley Rob. Then for the champions, we do have Shinikari, Coffee Deus, DHM, Solar Ouroboros, Seb Bainbrus Coombs, Thomas Yates, Andy Fing, Squid Eater, and Benji Gibber. We're going to see a rookie and a Duke in the back. And looks like we're going to see the Karamon turn into a Kurisari. And are we going to go straight in for? No, it is going to be. Ooh, Decoy is going to go to the bottom. Nice card that. We're going to see the Hakamon, which is going to play out the Goma. Goma is going to give the memory back thanks to the Buka, and we are able to get the draw before we do the mental training. So he would be able to full climb into Infa here if he had one, but it looks like we're missing it. So we're going to take the Infamon and bottom deck four. And a chance actually to stabilize. where he's going to go from here. Looks like we're going to try the, crack the training, go for that one cost Evo into Infer. No Diaboromons to create. But out comes the EX6 Diaboromon, which is going to play the Diaboromon token, which does get the DDG evolve on the hacker. So down to shit chair it goes, but we are going to Goma to strip out the DDG evolve source, which is actually kind of clean. Yeah, I actually really like that as a way to stabilize. Obviously, start of main is going to be playing that Diaboromon. And we're going to go into the Kiri Story, which is going to free play the Arata. Those also give rush to all the tokens. So one of these tokens can swing, the other one can't. I'm going to go Infa, which is going to make it harder for Jambo to now go into Diabora. But we just go straight in with the, uh, I guess, with the pop to go into the Diaboromon. So we're up to three tokens now, all with jamming and blocker. Oh, and they all, of course, all have Rush. Well, actually, no, I don't know if... 
I don't know if the one that was played before it comes out has rush. Jambo would know. He's the pilot of this deck, but I'm just going to assume that is how it works. We're going to spend three to delete the token, which is then going to play out the Armageddon. Of course, the Gomamon is going to once again source strip. So it's just trying to cut down the uh, cut down the Diaboros where they can. Oh, we are. We actually get the full clear with the Shangpangmon. Very, very nice. The problem is, yeah, there's no aces there for this one, so Diaboromon ties it up. Matrix Digivolution. Hey, you. Yeah, you. You like playing Digimon. I know you do, because that's why you're here. But are you from the UK? Because that's where I'm from. And if you're in the UK, you should come to Manchester. We're doing a case split tournament. Win a case, whatever you want to call it. We've got hella Digimon product. I just spent my basically entire year's budget on you guys. So come down and do this tournament. It's going to be about £25 entry. There'll be stuff on the Limitless, but it's not just product. We've also got custom cloth playmats that have been made by three fantastic artists. We've got dice from, you know, Conquest Collectibles. Y'all have seen the advert or skipped it. I don't know, but there's dice and there's even going to be custom uh, sleeves for everyone that enters and discounts for members. If you're a member or have been considering upgrading your membership to rookie or above when you're in the UK, now you have an extra reason to. Yeah, I always do these ads in one take. I don't really know why, but I do know that you should uh, come to the winner case if you're in the UK or even if you're not in the UK and you feel like traveling for an unofficial Digimon event. Cool. The UK really doesn't have any official events and it doesn't look like that's going to change. So if these go well, we will continue to do them. So this is your chance to support us, support me, support yourself and have fun playing Digimon in EX6 and maybe win a really cool set of boxes that might get you one of the SPs. Uh, yeah. Thanks for all the support, gang. I appreciate you. Uh, details will be pinned in the description. It's on the 27th of July. I don't think I said that in this entire ad, but yeah, final week of, uh, final weekend of July, Saturday. Be there at the waterfront in Manchester. I don't remember the any of the other details, so 9 a.m. start. Yeah, I was just, ah, uh, th th that last turn, I just got, I don't know, flashbanged by the heat or something. I was watching cards move and I was just not, not recognizing what was going on. But I do want to recognize the rookies that have been supporting the channel. Do you have Greatness Beam and Ryan Balfi. Then at the Digi Egg tier, we do have Jambo himself over on the right. Then John Esposito, uh, Walter Caceres, Rose Pierce, Christian Royal, and new to the Digi Egg tier. Sol Andres Sainz. Let me know if I'm pronouncing that right. I'm doing my best sight reading half of these. I should just make a list, but every time I make the list, uh, we get new members, which is a good problem to have. And we're going to see Goma in the back, Goma in the front. That Goma won't get so much value in this match, though, because it just eats the Infamon source. Top five is going to find plenty of unidentified, so can take the Quartz, but is going to take the Infer, because it is kind of the key to the matchup, because... As long as he goes into Diaboromon Ace, then he can just pop the Goma. So just gonna put the decoy one in the back. Not that it's gonna matter, we're gonna swing in unblockable. And just goes into the, it looks like we're gonna be playing blue Rookie Rush here. But Black Memboost finds another Kurisari. So if this uh, Infamon makes it into the next turn, then we're chilling. Yeah, we are, we're just gonna build up in the back, getting rid of some of the Rookies, so. Out comes the push. We're going to see something. Kurosari is going to play out the Arata. Correct the boost. Boost up to three. Go into Infer. Infermon is going to come down. And then straight into Diaboromon. Diaboromon plays out the double token thanks to the Arata. Though he does have to tap it to do it. But like it's fine. In comes the Shangpeng. Shangpeng going to bounce back. All right, so the Diaboromon sees the token come out or something get removed, which does play one, then the all turns the Digivolve happens, but because the five has come out, it means that he actually can't put the six on top of it. Could go over the Huaka, but I guess it's enough to just put him far enough behind that we are just gonna scoop up for this little exhibition match. If you enjoyed what you saw, and if you do wanna see more, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, hit the like button, potentially even join the members, and of course, have yourselves a damn good one.